guest is an Oscar and Golden Globe winning director. He also produced a new National Geographic special called Secrets of the Whales, which premieres tomorrow on Disney Plus. Here is James Cameron. <laughs> ah, hey, that's what I'm talking about. Hey. It is so good to see you, buddy. Welcome back to The Tonight Show, and thank you for coming on. It's so great to be sort of on the show, virtually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know exactly right. You must be living in kind of a virtual life now with all with the Avatar 2 and 3, right? Everything's virtual. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're, you're actually visiting me in my cutting room right now. I'm down here in Wellington, New Zealand. You're in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the bunker there working on Avatar yep. 2 and 3. Uh, I can't wait. You know I'm a fan of yours. And uh, Avatar uh, was unlike anything I've ever experienced uh, in the movies. I loved it so much. And uh, I, how do you top Avatar with two and three. I, I cry. I just sit here at my desk and <laughs> yes. I cry all yeah. day long because there's no way. And, yeah, of course. And uh, too much, it's just too much pressure, dude. You know. <laughs> oh, look, um, we just try to be kind of true to what people loved about the, the first film and, and take it into you know, whole new areas. Like uh, a lot of our scenes are in the ocean. And so oh, I'm really? combining things that I love, like making Avatar and going into the ocean. I, I, I love all that stuff. I was just reading something where it said, uh, you know, Avatar is the highest grossing film of all time. And then it got uh, beat out by Avengers. Yeah. Uh, and, and that was the number one highest grossing. But then Avatar became again the highest grossing <laughs> film. Does that, do you care about that stuff or you don't care? Well, look, I mean, everybody makes a big deal out of it, but the, but the truth is what we really need to focus on is getting back to theaters and, you know, hopefully we can still have films like that, like Endgame and Avatar, the big Marvel movies and all that that are able to make, you know, a billion or, or two billion dollars. Let's, let's pray that the theaters are there, you know, after this, after this pandemic and after this shift toward streaming. Not that I have anything against streaming. There's great writing, great shows. But let's yeah. remember that the movie theater is kind of a sacred experience for all of us. And, and let's get back out there when it's safe to do so. Yeah, let's get to I agree. I think people will go. Uh, so now, this, this uh, project that you're working on, The Secrets of the Whales, you mm. get so up close and personal with, it's the most beautiful shots. I mean, obviously, if anyone ever saw a whale, ever, it is, you talk about it for months. I mean, maybe yeah. years. Yeah. You go, oh, I saw a whale. And it, it, no, you've never seen a whale like this. This is unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, what is the feeling you want people to get from this, this special? Yeah, I just want to, full disclosure, I, I wasn't in the water with the whales on this show. I've done that, you know, other times. But, right. you know, we had right. Brian Scarry and some of the top, you know, uh, underwater photographers at National Geographic. And I'm an explorer in residence there which is kind of an oxymoron, but, but I know all those guys. So when we, we cooked this thing up about three years ago. It's taken three years to shoot, 24 locations around the world. The wow. idea was what are we going to show about whales that hasn't been seen and that hasn't been known. So the goal was find out new things, see new things, also do amazingly beautiful photography. But we found out that they... They have culture, they have emotion, they, they grieve, they, they have joy, they play, they, they have complex language, they have music, they have family bonds, they teach each other, they have taught culture that's, that's handed down. And they're very, very complex and amazing animals. They're not just big and beautiful and kind of, yeah. you know, mysterious and awe-inspiring. They're, they're, they're people. They're basically people. If, I think if anybody should get a takeaway from this show, it's that... Whales are people just like us, and they're, they're trying to survive out there. They're trying to keep their, their families fed and healthy, and hopefully the, the show can create some kind of a, a bond, a compassionate bond with them, because yeah. we have to protect them. We have to help them survive. Yeah, good for you. I agree. I want to show everyone a clip. Uh, here's a very unique moment captured in Secrets of the Whales. Take a look. This one female adult orca came in and, you know, was sort of checking me out. It was kind of looking at me, checking out the ray. It was kind of like, you know, are you, are you going to have that? Because if not, I'm, I'm going to go grab it. And then just sort of picks it up and, and almost poses for me. He just kind of lifts her head up. 
It was really remarkable. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. Is that cool? That is really cool. So this mother orca says, you look skinny. You should eat. Here, have something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eat, you know? eat. Yeah, of course. Exactly. <laughs> You're not going to eat that? All right, I'm taking it back. James Cameron, everybody. Hey.